We are reporting uh, this morning that this mutation is more contagious. Do you, how do we know that? And is there a different way that it's spread? So the way it's spread is very similar to the way all of the coronaviruses are spread. That means aerosol, coughing, sneezing, talking loud, singing, etc. But because the UK is very good at tracking, they were able to see that rates in certain towns went up while rates in other towns did not go down. And by localizing those towns that had higher rates or quicker spread of virus and getting swabs on those patients and then looking at the sequence of that virus, they could say, aha, there are a few new mutations and those mutations have now translated into this virus actually being passed from person to person a little more easily. Mm -hmm. This may be an this obvious may question, of course, but masks, hand washing, will they help stop this new mutation? Correct. Anything that we can do to stop the spread is important. And because we know the route of spread is still the same, it's not sitting around on desktops for hours and I came by two days later and touched your desktop. It's really me talking to you, coughing on you, sneezing on you. The masks and the social distancing and the hand washing will still work. All right. And um, as far as the uh, mutation, do we expect that it will continue to do that as it makes its way you know, around the globe? Correct. It is always mutating. And if you look at different countries, you will notice that the sequence of the virus in every country is just a little different. So you can track where it went from place to place or country to country. And we expect that will continue because there's no reason until we all either get disease or get, I hope, vaccinated and cut down transmissions, we will still continue to see those mutations occurring. Okay, so okay. as a reporter, I have to ask you, the UK you. seems to be taking this very seriously. They're shutting down the borders. Um, is this strain more dangerous? Is, is it there a greater risk with this strain? Is it because it's, I guess, more contagious? So the answer is those patients that did get this infection did not seem to have higher rates of hospitalization or death. They just acquired it a little bit easier or a little faster. So that's really what's led to the UK closing their borders. So because they want to protect their own citizens and other people, they don't want people to get more people to get infected because the bigger picture is more people getting infected, particularly those with comorbidities, more people will wind up in the hospital.